Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 35 of Civilization 5 as Korea. We're still well on the way to winning and I think at this point of the game um, it's pretty much safe to say we're going to win. I can't really think what the AI could do at this point to beat me. I think I'd actually physically have to try and lose uh, to lose this game and even then I think I'd struggle. Um, I put it down to a combination of things. I've said it many many times before in previous videos but in case you've like weren't listening or you haven't watched them or you've forgotten playing as Korea Korea are a really overpowered Civ because one of the important things in Civilization 5 is being ahead of the science curve and it's so so much easier to be ahead of the science curve as Korea secondly this is the first game I've ever tried playing on epic pace now while everything scales with the pace one thing that doesn't scale is units when you go to war uh, how far they can move and obviously they don't become obsolete as quickly not that it makes a huge deal of difference because I didn't really do much warfare um, but that's mainly based on the third reason which is that this map actually put me on a fairly isolated start so I was able to grow didn't have to do much combat and um, you know I think all those things added together have made this uh, this victory relatively easy so let's carry on and get all those trade routes running again I think there's going to be quite a few turns now where there isn't really an awful lot we can do unless we get involved in any sort of war which to be honest at this point seems a little bit pointless because there isn't really anybody that is worth fighting against um, we're just trying to get to a point where we can actually uh, just finish up and win the game which means either building the spaceship we are already building some of the spaceship parts in fact um, the six parts one of them is already built two of them are under construction and a third one is temporarily um, being paused while we're working on the international space station so I would say in approximately in approximately 14 or 15 turns we're going to have four parts of the spaceship built so we are definitely getting there um, Diplomatic victory is still well on the cards. There's only a few of the city-states that we're not actually um, allied with. Uh, let's just go and have a look at the tech. So we're working on particle physics next, which will give us the engine. And that will be all the parts unlocked then. So then we'll just go through nuclear fusion so we can grab the giant death robot. Just because, because I never get the chance to build them. Probably won't get the chance to use them, but we'll we'll grab them anyway. Um, so the um, International Space Station, 39% complete. Um, not too sure what this guy's uh, problem is. By the way, do apologise if you can hear any uh, banging in the background. Uh, Neighbour has decided to um, play with his hammer again. As he so often does. Because, you know, it's not a day of the week if you don't get the hammer and bang on the wall. I have no idea what's going on. I mean, it's like every single day that hammer's banging on the wall. I, I don't believe anyone could possibly have anything that requires that much hitting with a hammer. So, there you go. But that's enough about me waffling on. I, do, I, I, know, I always apologise whenever there's something loud. Whenever there's an ice cream van outside the house. Or whenever a motorbike that's particularly loud goes up the street. Or whether the neighbour's dog's barking or someone's mowing the lawn. And most of the time you guys can't hear it. Because my microphone's pretty good. It's a good quality mic. But it, it it's, one, it's a studio mic. Because I do voiceover work. So you pretty much have to have the microphone like three inches in front of your face and anything that's more than about a couple of feet away just doesn't pick up so it's actually quite a good microphone except of course it means you have to have it right in front of your face which makes it a little bit difficult to see the screen sometimes uh, may adopt policy well i guess we just carry on going down here well we could grab another rank three um 34 tourism to civilizations that have less happiness that could actually be useful now let's have a look at the happiness um Culture victory. We have the highest happy... Ooh, no, Persia still have more happiness. Could I get more happiness than Persia? Could I get another 30 happiness? Possibly. Possibly. Do I need any of this junk here? No. Do you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's grab it. 34% more tourism to civilizations that have less happiness. And then what we'll try and do is we will try and build or buy anything that will give us additional happiness. And we'll see if we can get ahead of Persia and put some more tourism pressure on them as well. So we are going to have to go around now and see if we can start buying some of the uh, luxuries and things that we don't have. Um, could have tried doing that on this turn really, would have made more sense. But we'll do it on the next one. We'll see if we can buy truffles in the ivory. Um, Persia probably won't trade as the wine. That is okay. Um, it's a shame we don't have a great... Do we have a great general? 
we do have a great general. Unfortunately, we can't steal the wine because our borders aren't quite big enough and I only have the one great general, which is a bit of a shame. Is there any wine I could steal? Um, probably not. I'm just having a quick scout around the map. Just seeing if there's any wine tiles that I could get. Are we actually getting happiness from wine? Um, no, not at the moment. Yeah, I just don't think I have anything where I could see there's wine down there, but again, it's a little bit too far away. So yeah, no wine that we could grab. Okay, we want the ivory and we want the truffles. She is guarded, but I'd like ivory and truffles. Will you swap for cotton and coca? I don't want your money. She doesn't actually want all that much more for doing it. What about if I was to offer you two gold per turn as well? Well, actually, what about four? Because you never give fair trades. Five? Yeah, there we go. So that's given us another eight happiness straight away. Um, you're never going to give us the wine because you just don't like me. Yeah, that's just way too much. I mean, although... Um... What about if I was to offer you something like 15 gold per turn? What about 20? 25. And I'm throwing money at him here. If I can get him to accept... 30 gold. That's a lot of money that I've just paid for a single thing. But I'm still making 300 gold per turn. So what we can do now is we'll just have a quick look through some of these cities. And see if any of them have any buildings that can give us any additional happiness. Um, we can get a zoo here straight away. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, we'll queue up the stadium. That can go after the temple. Um, we can get a stadium here as well. That can go after the International Space Station. We can get a zoo here. So that can go after the International Space Station as well. Orleans can grab a Colosseum. That can go after the shrine. Seoul, we can grab a wall and then follow that up with a castle. Um, yeah, I think that's enough for now. We'll come back and have a look, a look at that later. But what I'm trying to do is just boost my happiness and get it up above that of Persia. It is possible. It's definitely possible. Just try and get us... And, and of course, remember that 17 turns we get another policy. So we could always um, buy a, another tenant or two. So there's definitely uh, definitely some scope to get more happiness than Persia. Wine connected for Hong Kong. Of course, we've got to be careful as we get city growth. That is going to affect the, uh, the happiness. 62% completed. Almost 4,000 hammers. I think we'll have gold. I don't think we have to worry too much about that. Just wait for the Barbarians' turn. Let's just have a quick look here now and see how things are progressing. Morocco, 47 turns. 299 with Persia, because we still don't have that, that bonus. See, all the others we do. Um, four turns for the Songhai, four turns for the Celt. We could actually get the... Um, it could happen. It's all about whether or not we can put a little bit more pressure on these guys. Still can't get open borders with Morocco, which is a shame. Although, actually, it might be worth checking now, because... Uh, now we've got a deal going on with him. He might be a little bit more willing to do that. Um, would you be willing to give us open borders? No, you just you just straight up refusing to do that. That's fair enough. I I wouldn't give you open. I wouldn't give me open borders if I were you either. So yeah, that's fine. And of course, I do still want to save some money because I do want to try and bribe the rest of these um, these city states to to sort of ally them up. So. I think I think we're all good. Is his happiness going down? Actually, I didn't actually have a look at what it was. Um, his happiness is eighty-eight. Wasn't it eighty-nine before? I think his happiness is actually going down a little bit. So it's not too bad. Because I'm sh I'm sure. Yeah, we were thirty behind, and I think we were on fifty-nine. So we are we are catching up. We are catching up. Um, upcoming session, that's fine. 74% complete. Boudicca has declared war on Morocco, so goodbye Casablanca. 
And of course we get to sit here again and watch while the bombers run several bombing runs on their units. Oh well, at least it looks like uh, Mongolia get to survive for a few more turns anyway. It's not going to make too much of a difference with Morocco losing a city or two. Wow, they've got like four. Mind you, I think they've only just moved two there, so it shouldn't take too long. So Casablanca is just going to fire at some of their units. Should be fine. Of course, we're only getting to see this because we're allied with Malacca and they've got a front row seat to this little skirmish, so... But that's okay. Oh, um, looks like we don't have furs anymore. So we definitely need to go and see if we can grab furs from somebody. We'll try and get them from Buda because she's mo more likely to give me a better deal than Darius is. Also jewellery's embargoed. If we could repeal the embargo in jewellery, that could be useful. Um, gold per turn to Askia. Um, we were buying copper from Askia. I'd kind of like that to continue. Um, do I have spare citrus? No. How about I just give you nine gold per turn? There we go. And we also want to get furs from Boudica. You've got spare furs. Um, that's ridiculous. You just want nine gold. No? No for nine? Ten? Eleven? Twelve? There we go. Not too bad at all. Um, so that's got us up to 73 now. And that is 73 compared to... Look, now we're only 8 behind Persia now. Um, we have some money right behind Persia. Let's go ahead. Um, I should be saving the money. But let's go ahead and see if we can buy any of these things. Um, stadium is expensive. But plus 2 happiness. Is it worth grabbing the stadium? Or should we just try and grab Zeus somewhere? Because they're a little bit cheaper. Um... Stadium Zoo. See, Zoo gives plus two happiness and it's cheaper. Let's remove the zoo and buy the zoo. We can always then queue up a stadium, should it be needed. Colosseum. Um, Colosseum gives plus two happiness. We could probably buy the Colosseum. Buy the Colosseum. There we go. And then we can queue up the zoo. Uh, what are we down to money-wise? Well, we can't... We can't buy anything else, but that's now put us up to 75, which now means we are only six happiness behind. Cargo ship, you are going to continue there. And on to the next turn. Still got about seven or eight minutes left of this video. I don't think we're going to see a win in that time, especially as we have to watch all of the uh, stuff going on over here between Morocco and um, the Celts. Saying that, Casablanca is probably going to fall quite quickly. Doesn't have an awful lot of health left, although I don't really think there's too much that um, the Celts can do on this turn. Morocco seems to be defending it quite well. It is actually in between hills and behind a river, so it does have a little bit of protection there. So that's okay. And again, got to keep our eye on... So there's only three city-states that we're not allied with, so I'm not too bothered about that. We will be saving up some money. But I'm hoping that Persia's happiness goes down, or I can just continue to find a way to boost my happiness up. Because every time we do that, it's going to make life more difficult for Persia. It might also be worth actually having a look and see if I, see, seeing if I can steal a resource that Persia has. Because if I can steal it from them, even if I don't need it, um, it might actually uh, reduce their happiness. So, you know, if I can find their only source of something and take it from them, that might really help. But probably not. Uh, Boudicca's plotting against Mongolia. That's hardly a surprise. Um, we're still at 75, they're at 86, so he's pulling away again, annoying little git. Um, cargo ship, you're going to go to Gien, carry on with that. Uh, again, that was a turn where we couldn't do an awful lot. Not making nearly as much money as I was before. Um, oh, they have actually managed to take Casablanca. Okay, I don't think Morocco are going to have enough to take it back. Um... The Celts still have quite a lot of Bombard over here, and I think Casablanca, I think Morocco, have only got the one infantry unit there. So, and he's about to get bombarded by a lot of, um, a lot of Celtic great war bombers. 
Of course, you know, that's only a little troll city that they decided to build there. They've still got their main cities down here at the bottom, right next to Askia, so... But at least it means we won't have to watch much more of this, um, this warfare going on, so that's fine. How many planes have you got over there? You've got four, so we could be here a while. Well, I, th I think we're at least going to be here until they manage to completely uh, kill those guys off. You're actually firing at a uh, an embarked unit there. Yeah, I think uh, I think this little war with Morocco over here isn't going to um, last too much longer. Let's let's be honest. So I keep checking on the tourism. I keep actually having a look to see what the happiness is because I'm trying to make sure that we can keep we can get our happiness above Persia. But one thing that I haven't actually checked is how how uh, many turns it's going to take. We also need to check on the. Uh, International Space Station, 98% completed, so I shall probably remove that from all of the um, the production queues at the end of this turn. That's assuming it doesn't just complete at the end of the turn. Culture victory within reach. There we go. There's only two more civilizations to win a culture victory. So we are... Where are we? Influenced by player. Influential over the Songhai and the Celts. 43 turns for Morocco, 288 turns for Persia. We're still behind them by 10 happiness, which is really, really annoying. Um, I'd love to be able to go and buy some more happiness. Um, let's stop with the International Space Station there. Um, we'll finish it at, uh, in one place. You can stop doing it. We'll work on a stadium. Um, you can stop doing it. You can stop doing it. We'll work on that zoo. In fact, we won't work on that zoo. We'll just buy the zoo and we'll queue up the stadium after the workshop. Um, you can stop it. We'll get the walls and then we can get the castle. And that is fine. Let's carry on then. Next turn. Yeah. Culturally influential. It's fantastic. Have we still got to watch them bombarding this... Uh, well, he's half dead anyway, so... I, uh, I very much doubt that, that that's going to take more than a couple of strafes to kill. How much? He has five hit points left. So this one should definitely kill him. So top line, two movement, 70 defense, five hit points. And uh, did that really not kill him? Why is it still saying five hit points? They've definitely got more. Well, they've got five left now, which had already factored it in before the animation had finished. There we go. Yeah, he's going to get killed on the next turn. Without a doubt. Yeah, culturally influential over you as well. Fantastic. Oh, it'd be awesome to actually get a culture win on Emperor. I still think the cultural victories is one of the hardest ones to get. Um, if you're left alone and you've got an isolated start, scientific victory is relatively easy. You still need to make sure that you find a lot of the other civilizations to get the science boost from uh, sort of neighbor bonuses. Um, but again, if you're left alone and you can just build up your money, if you haven't got to keep going to war and you can, and you're not spending money on upgrading units, you can spend that money on bribing city states. Oh wow, I actually managed to get an achievement there that I've never gotten before. I don't know what that achievement is for. I'll have to go and look that one up. Herculean effort. Um, maybe because that's because I just absolutely trampled the AI. I'll have to go and check that one out. Maybe let you guys know for next time because... Jeeves. There we go. There's particle physics done. Working on nuclear um, fusion. Then after that we'll probably just go on to future tech. And actually globalization... Uh, well, yeah, we probably want that, actually. So, um, nuclear fusion into globalization into future tech. We'll do it that way around. Choose production. Seoul has finished walls. You are now going to work on a castle. Does anything else give us happiness? Lighthouses give us, give us happiness as well. And harbors give us happiness, of course, because I forgotten that we'd taken these things here. So, we actually get happiness from harbors, seaports, and lighthouses. We should, we should build harbours, seaports, and lighthouses wherever we can. Um, you're going to do a, a harbour after the SS booster. And you're going to do a harbour after the nuclear missile. Unless I decide to buy one before then. Um, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be uh, immense. I think we'll easily be able to um, get the happiness that we need. What are we up to now? 78. 
compared to his 79 with one behind him now. We'll have so much more pressure on him if we can do. Um, let's go ahead and um, pop the tech. There we go. We can now build giant death robots. I am going to build one somewhere. You know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just because I don't ever really get to build giant death robots. Giant death robots, however, not quite as fun as they sound. They're actually just a tank, so they're, they're a melee unit with um, sort of high movement. They, they are literally an upgrade from modern armor. Uh, but, you know, it's not very often that a game lasts long enough to build one. So I will, I will try and churn at least one out, even if I don't get to use it. Maybe maybe declare a war on somebody just before we're about to win the game, just so that we can go and uh, go and roll over them. Now we are a little bit over the twenty minute mark, but I'm enjoying myself, so I think I'll do a couple more turns and just see what else that we can uh, we can squeeze in before the end of the video. Would certainly be nice to see our happiness go up enough to be able to knock um, Persia off the top spot in happiness. Uh, see, we are losing a little bit of happiness because our cities are growing, which is a, a potential problem here. Um, assigned delegates, world leader. Uh, we need 39, which we're not going to get, but, you know, we will um, commit all to ourselves anyway. Is your happiness going down? Are you still staying ahead of us? Yeah, you've gone back up to 86, which is a little bit of a pain. Um, Morocco, 42 turns. What could I do to get more? Unless I can get open borders, not a lot. And I can't trade with you. But if we could get the happiness, that would be good. Um, let's just keep trying, see if we can get open borders. There might be some point where he turns around and goes, fine. Probably won't. What if I give you, like, 30 gold a turn? No, you just won't do it, will you? He's a very clever man. He knows that it would be his downfall. And he's refusing to do it. We've got a, a booster about to be completed in Busan there. We've got another one six turns away in Cusco. You're not working on the International Space Station because I can see it. International Space Station has finished. Um, research lab, workshop. You're working on a castle, so that'll be more happiness. Two turns there for another booster. You're working on a stadium, so that'll be more happiness. I mean, we know we're not, we've got enough votes to pretty we've got enough votes to pretty much pass anything through World Con Congress that we want, but um, we don't have enough votes for World Leader, and we couldn't get enough votes for World Leader even if we did manage to bribe all of those guys. So I think what we're going to do here is we're actually going to try and repeal the embargo on Persia. Um, we might have actually won the game before that happens, but at least we'll be able to trade with them, and that'll give us another big boost. So. Seoul's so finished the castle. Uh, I'm going to go and just buy the harbour because it's instant more happiness. Um, seaport would give us happiness as well. So I'm going to queue the seaport up. And then just because we can, we're actually going to work on the uh, stasis chamber after that. Uh, unit needing orders. That is the SS booster. You're going to get yourself down here to Seoul. So that spaceship win is looking very, very likely at the moment. Uh, let's go on to the next turn. So this will be a little bit of a longer longer video, but I tried to aim. I've always tried to aim for around 20 minutes on all of my videos, and it normally they normally run between 20 and 25, which I think is a good sort of a good sort of length. 20, 20 to 25 minutes, I think, is is decent. And I don't like people who have really, really short videos. I know there are lots of channels that do like five minute videos and they still have ads on them and stuff like that. I don't get to choose what type of ads go on my videos, by the way. Um, it is my decision to have ads on my videos, which is why I've joined a network. So I get a little bit of uh, a little bit of commission for it, a little bit of ad revenue. But I don't choose whether it's a banner ad or whether it's a skippable, you know, full screen ad after five seconds or whether it's one of the ones you can't skip. Um... But it really annoys me when people... I don't mind watching through a 30-second ad if I'm going to be watching a 25-minute video. But when there's a 30-second ad and it's like a three-minute video, I'm like, what? You know, the, the, the ad is like 20... what, 17% of the video's total runtime, which really annoys me. And there again, I don't really want to go on too long and have videos that are an hour long, unless I'm doing a review or something along those lines. You can work on the engine. 
and there's another booster. The problem is what normally happens is I have so much fun playing this game, and as I've said a few times before, I tend to fill I tend to record my Civ series and my EU series. I film them every week. So normally on one week I will film all five of them. Probably on the Thursday or the Friday. So it's currently Friday of the week before you're watching this. So I'll film all five episodes in a row. And when I get to the fifth episode, I, I'm like, oh, I need to stop recording now. I've done all five episodes, but I want to carry on. I'm enjoying playing the game. It's okay if it's the first, second, third or fourth episode because I just, you know, do my little exit, do my intro and then do the next video. But when I get to this point and it's like, oh, well, I don't want to start on next week's video, but I need to you know carry on so that's why you always end up with videos on friday that are a little bit longer but we are going to have to end this soon we're definitely not going to win on this video it would certainly be nice because i don't think we're going to get five more videos out of this game which means it'll end midweek which is always a little bit of a pain but we'll see what we can do let's just have one look oh um Boudicca's launched a sneak attack on turf and bye bye mongolia um so how are things going here? 38 turns with Morocco. 301 turns. Why is it going down? Um, are they just getting massive amounts of culture from somewhere? 87. They're still ahead of me in terms of happiness, which is very, very annoying. Busan has finished the harbour. Is there anything else you could build? You could build a seaport. That would give us some happiness as well. Let's go ahead and do that. A unit needs orders. It is a cargo ship. The cargo ship that's going to go back to Gien. And we have another cargo ship here. I'm guessing this is probably going to be around the sort of time when... Yeah, I guess it would make sense, actually. This is around the sort of time when the Celts actually took out uh, Karakorum. And that's, uh, that's when a lot of my trade routes reset. Making the executive decision, though, this is going to be the last turn of the video. So we'll just wait for everything to resolve. I'll do my bits, and then that will be the end for another week um we don't need to do that anymore that was just for a research agreement a research agreement which has oh apparently popped i didn't even notice that uh, our research agreement had ended i don't think we need another one i mean we've almost um you know we've almost finished everything here we'll get an extra delegate in the world congress and for every spy as a diplomat in another civilization's capital, which is about three, so that puts us even closer to getting a diplomatic victory as well. So it'll be nice when we get that. Um, another election rigged. Again, there's still three that we don't have, but um, it's mainly because I keep spending my money where I shouldn't. Wow, 101 Persia. Well, well done. 118. Yeah, there's some, there's some big ones here that we're going to need to um, knock out. 32. We can do that, although we don't have the 1,000 gold, so we can't actually do that. And I did say it was going to be the last turn, but I'm clicking next turn because there was nothing to do on that turn. And I, I'm, I'm now giving myself excuses to, to carry on. Uh, being denounced by Morocco, that's absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. You wouldn't give me open borders anyway. Two turns away from the booster in Cusco. Ah, you do want another research agreement. Um... Not really bothered about any of that. Um, I'm going to say no, actually. I'm well ahead in terms... I'd sooner keep the money. And we're well ahead in terms of tech. I don't see the point in... I don't need any more tech. Let's put it that way. I'm, I'm at the point where I don't actually need any more science. So I don't want to be wasting my money helping the AI get more science. Three more turns, we'll get another great musician. That'll give us a little bit more push. And then 12 more turns, we will get a, another great writer. I'm very, very tempted to go and grab a uh, another level one tenant, which is not going to let me actually have a look at, is it? Uh, and uh, see if we can get some more happiness that way. See, Older's grown. Of course, every time one of our cities grows, and I don't want to pause their growth, but every time one of our cities growth, grows, it knocks our happiness down. 81 happiness, Persia, 81 happiness. Does it count, or does it have to be more? Um, influenced by player, Persia. Think it has to be more. Do we have enough money to buy anything that would give us any happiness? Probably not, which is a real shame. Um, honestly, I have nothing that I can build anywhere that would give me some more happiness, or something that I could just buy really quick. 
Working on the harbour, that's over a thousand gold. Um, you're working on the SS engine, there's nothing that you can build. There's nothing that you can build. You can't build anything either. Um, any of these give happiness. You've got to be. Th there are some really random ones that do give you happiness, and I can never remember what they are. Um, factory. Factories give happiness. Boom. Okay, so now we have one happiness more currently than Persia. There we go. So we now get the bonus. I mean, we have to stay ahead of them, uh, but they would still take 114 turns. So unless we can get open borders, we're never going to be able to beat them in a cultural victory. But we are definitely still going to win this game. The uh, SS booster is one turn away from being completed. That'll be four parts of the spaceship done. 11 turns, we will have the stasis chamber. 17 turns, we will have the engine. So in 18 turns, this game is over. Um, we are production focused here. What we could... Could we get any more production? I guess we could work some of the production tiles. We are um, starving there a little bit. Uh, we don't really need the faith anymore. Is there a better food tile that we can work? Yeah, we can go and work that one. So, no longer starving and 15 turns for the uh, SS engine. So, in 16 turns, this game is going to be won. That simple. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you are still enjoying Civilization V's career. When we come back on the next video, it should be to victory. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye for now.